Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another episode of City Skyline Sunset Harbor DLC. I am the one and only Sports Monkey, and we're back here in the great city of Portsmouth Abbey. And we're back here for our Sweet 17. I'm just kidding, I know it's Sweet 16, but I'm here for our 17th episode of this series. And what I would like to do today is I would like to build a rural, rural area or like a countryside area. Before I get into that, give me about 20 seconds. All I want to say is what I did add over here was a train station, which I should have added originally. I added a lovely train station to our Green Cities canal side area, which turned out beautiful, as you can tell. It looks great. So now let's actually get to our rural cities. So we have an empty plot of land over here. <laughs> Quite literally, an empty plot of land. So let's actually extend this highway this is a two-way highway right here let's extend that a little bit more but i want to extend it without the sound barrier so let's extend it over here okay cool so what we need to do now is we need to connect up a normal size road so there's like a basically we're looking for a transition between between the highway and the road, which we just did right there. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go grab our medium sized road with bicycle lanes and we're gonna go up 1500. And then what we're gonna do from there is we're gonna make kind of like a plus sign. So let's see if we can go 900 this way and 900 this way we might need it you know what? we might need to go a little higher so let's add on 300 add on 300 and then add on 300 and we can actually do the same over here i know i just did this sorry guys excellent start add in 300 okay perfect awesome so really good start now we have everything kind of in place this is going to be our major city center so what we're going to do is grab a smaller road, go out by 400, go slightly diagonal by 280. No, actually we want to go 400 this way. And then we, okay, there's our diagonal. I was, I was searching for that diagonal and I, I got it. So basically just remember, go 400, 400 this way, 400 this way, and then go diagonal. Then 400 this way. 400 this way and there you go so i want to kind of keep kind of keep everything uniform and in intact nothing too crazy we're just creating like i said so this is going to be our lovely city center and so let's start adding to the city center real quick before we start building anything else so what do we need in our city center well, we are going to need the basic needs, but a uh, basic needs our basic utilities. But I think, um, I'm definitely, I'm, I definitely feel like a library would be a really, really good thing to have right there. I think you'd look really nice. Then let's add some low density commercial so that remember, this is not going to be, I'm going to hit the pause button, by the way. This is this is going to be a rural area, so don't you know this is this isn't going to be too fancy. There's nothing going to be too crazy. Like for example, if I grab this path, I'm going to grab a dirt path, and what we can do is just kind of go wrong button. What we can do is kind of go diagonally across, so people can walk around. Go this way, perfect. So we just want to make this town very, very walkable, if that makes sense. And this is exactly what we're doing by adding all these paths in exactly like this. So it doesn't need to be the same path formation like I did the last couple times. You can change it up. So we're going to add... And it won't go. Okay, there we go. It should connect up. Perfect. So let's keep adding more low density residential or road <laughs> low de wow i can't even talk right now 
Low density commercial. There we go. I, I know I know. It took me like four tries to actually spit that out. Whew. Man. Anyways, so we have all this over here. So this is it. We're gonna keep this on the main road, all of our commercial. Um, we all know why. Why is it guys? Oh, because our residents do not like noise pollution from the medium sized roads. So we have that and this looks fine. Now what I also want to do is I'm gonna district this. Um, so we do have a normal district. Cool, so I'm gonna paint this district. And we're gonna try to keep this a little bit different from the rest of our city. Obviously we are in the countryside. You know, our city is far away from here. So let's change that. Let's go to Mill Park and let's go to policies. Oh, and I can't change the style. Okay, never mind. All right, city planning. What can we do over here? Let's encourage biking over here. We don't want to boost connection. Filter waste. No, we don't want that. Oh, high rise ban. Yeah, this is countryside, so don't. Yeah, let's not do that. And then what else do we have to choose from? Prefer parks. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So we are okay for right now. I was actually thinking about changing one of those. Um, change it up to like the European style, but that's all right. I haven't quite figured that one out, I guess, in um, on the PC. So I'm still, again, still learning stuff with the PC. So please forgive me. I think my city has turned out pretty well also, so that's that's also another thing. So we have a plaza in here. Now what we're gonna need to do is we are gonna need to add some awesome residential. So what we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're gonna use our paths and we're gonna just extend these out pretty nicely. So let's go 800. Come on, 800. I love that on a PC, you can actually see how far out you're going. On an Xbox One, you literally can't see it. So like, so like, all right, if you look here, you can see, all right, it's 20 units. So if I go up here, I'm at 15, I'm at 16, I'm at 17, I'm at 18, I'm at 20 units, boom. And then again, I'm at 20 units. So again, it's a pretty cool how this all works out. And I want to try to keep the uniformity going. So let's just go out like this. Actually, you know what? Let's kind of make it an organic looking, looking um, area. So what we want to do is just Nope, that was not good. That second thing was not good. But let's try to keep it kind of free-flowing. There you go. That was not a good one. That was not a good ro road selection. There you go, so we have kind of, um, well, we, we kind of have to stop because we don't want to intrude on that highway. There you go, so we have that. So now, since we are also countryside, let's not be afraid to use the dirt paths and create some housing that way. Now, let's uh, go with the straight roads. There we go, we'll leave it like that. And what we can also do is kind of go out like this. And just kind of branch off and create little neighborhoods. Oh, I just realized. Hey, what did I do, guys? I created a freaking grid by accident. Oh my god, that's not what I wanted, but that's all right. There you go. So this is going to be our little countryside area. We will need utilities and or utilities. Yeah, uh, basic services. 
So I'll actually create those now while we're waiting. For uh, while well, I do it, <laughs> while we're waiting, while we're waiting for what, Sports Monkey? Um, I need to fill everything in. So, <laughs> wow, that I I did not sleep well last night, and it, it does actually sort of show. All right, so that is I don't actually like that at all. Um, that is obviously we have curved road there, but that just did not look nice. What about over here? What if we used over here? So we're gonna put our services over here. Nope, that's... I had what I wanted, and then... There you go. Perfect. Okay, so let's add some of our services over here. So what, what are we going to have over here? We'll have our fire. We'll have our popo, our police. There we go. Um, we'll have our med... We'll have our crematorium. We'll have our medical clinic. So basically, this is our... Literally, if... <laughs> If you have any problems in with your life going on, we can uh, we can fix that. Um, let's add a gym over here. I like the gym near the library. I do like that idea a lot. Um, let's see the basketball court. Can we fit this anywhere? Cool. So we're just trying to make it a little bit unique, so everything is not the same. Again, this is going to be our little little city center, and then um, let's let's add some of that low density residential, and this is going to be a big strip of it. There you go. Just this is going to be a lot of it, so I don't necessarily suggest using the using the mark marquee button. Let's use the fill in button. Um, you can paint it. Let's see, painting it might yes, painting it might be a little bit better. There you go. So painting it is a lot easier than using the marquee button. And as you can tell, we are getting separation between our residentials. So that is pretty, that will look pretty cool that it's not all one giant, you know, residential neighborhood. So that does help break things up a little bit. Now, since this is like a dirt path, let's actually go back to that marquee button and let's get rid of that. But let's add a couple smaller ones. A couple smaller buildings, residential buildings, which is nothing too crazy. It's not not really a big deal, but it'll, it might actually look cool because, again, all these buildings are going to look a little bit different because just because of the way I'm building it. So, like the smaller ones and we have the... You guys know that I like the three by twos buildings they always look cool and this looks really really cool so far so um yeah it look yeah sports monkey it looks cool yeah all you're doing is filling in residential and it's not even populating yet yeah i know but i think this will look very cool and i'm pretty sure it will so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna i'm not gonna make you guys suffer through all this and make me watch all this so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my fast forward time lapse and detail this place up and I will add the utilities. So thank you guys for watching. Wait about two minutes for the ending and you guys will see. I think you guys will really like the end results. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. I, I truly do appreciate you guys watching.
And welcome back guys, and after probably about 30 minutes of detailing, I did add a few different things, like I did add the lovely train line, which was 100% needed. We, needed, we needed to get citizens to and from the city as quickly as possible, so this actually connects all the way to the city center, which actually this is a very long way. It starts there, and it ends right at the hub, so that is a very long train ride. But as you can tell, this is just a very small city center, and everything is filled in pretty nicely. Uh, we do have a mixture of commercial buildings. I did put in a high-rise van, if you do remember. So a few of these office buildings, they will just stay the way they are. And we do have some awesome restaurants that have grown in. The Wow, the Jubilees or Jubilice. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. That is here. And we do have a couple small shops. I did add a couple mods, like the... Uh, like over here, the shopping, the little shopping center, and then, um, you know, I did basically. I just did a lot of detailing. I did add a bus line, as you can tell, which is really cool, and everything just fits in really nicely to this small city center. Um, this rural countryside. You know, I did add a lot of trees. I know that's kind of crazy, but you know what? This is a countryside little t little town, and it turned out really, really well. So if you guys do have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. But this is just a little, this is my way of creating a small city center or small town, rural town. So if you have any questions, please let me know, um, like I said, in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.